We've had a report that the Mac Pro could be delayed but might be still announced at WWDC 2023 with the brand new M2 Ultra chipset inside. I want to share the latest on this with the latest roundup of everything we know so far including specs and of course the Apple Mac Pro 2023 release date and price. So, back in 2019, we had the brand new Mac Pro come out with the latest Intel Xeon chips inside. The Mac Pro is considered as the god desktop for creators and developers. It is one of four desktop computers in the current Macintosh lineup, sitting up above the consumer Mac Mini, iMac and the Mac Studio models. It is also Apple's most powerful Mac that they make. The new design went back to a tower design after it came from that similar design for the second generation. The new design includes a new thermal architecture with three impeller fans that promises to prevent the computer from having to throttle the processor so it can always run at peak performance levels. But let's press on when it's likely we're going to get our hands on the new Mac Pro. The Mac Pro is due a refresh as it's the last Intel Mac out there right now and it definitely needs an Apple Silicon refresh as the last time we also had an update to the Mac Pro was in late 2019. Apart from the 2013 Mac Pro, the models before from 2006 to 2012 had upgrades around every 18 months to two years with newer Intel chipsets put inside. So we've had a report coming from Mark Gurman telling us that the Mac Pro is coming at WWDC 2023, what I'll talk about in a mo. But the other news is that the Mac Pro will be getting an M2 Ultra inside what is essentially two M2 Maxes stitched together. Based on numbers from the M2 Max, this would mean we could be getting up to 24 cores in CPUs and up to 76 cores for the GPU, what would be absolutely amazing. Then for RAM, this could mean we could be getting up to 192 gigabytes of RAM as an option too. However, for release date, it is likely that Apple will stay on the tradition of launching the Mac Pro. For every single Mac Pro since 2006, with the first generation design borrowed from the G5 with the Intel chipsets, to the trash can design in 2013, and also the current cheese gracer design in 2019, every single one of these Macs have been announced before the summer. And it's looking likely this is going to be the same again with this Mac Pro. With WWDC 2023 just around the corner in early June time, it looks like that the launch of the brand new Mac Pro will be coming at this event. Remember, this is the last device to get an Apple Silicon chipset in it, and it's also definitely for developers and creators out there. So this would be the ideal event to launch this device to everybody at WWDC 2023. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods 3 as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video, or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2008. And 23. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, 
example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping, please do report it here on YouTube. All you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest. Just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there. So to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So so with the latest reports and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted a picture of the details for the new Mac Pro with its price as well. So what we've been told so far for the brand new Mac Pro is that it will be the same design. So this is the 2019 Mac Pro design or known as the cheese grater design. It will feature an M2 Ultra chipset inside it will have up to 24 CPU cores. And basically this will be made up of eight efficiency cores and also 16 performance cores. What the M2 Ultra essentially is, is two M2 Maxes stitched together to give that ultra performance. We've also been told that for the GPU performance where this Mac Pro will really shine is there will be a choice between 60 to 72 cores of GPU cores was absolutely amazing. Then on top of that as well, there'll also be four times videos, decoders and encoders for all you video editors out there and then for the ram you have the choice of 64 to 192 gigabytes of ram we've also been told that the storage most likely this time in the mac pro and the first of any of the apple silicon devices will be upgradable so this basically means essentially that you'll be able to stick in your own hard drives we're not too sure at this stage if they're going to be apple exclusive hard drives or you'll be able to just buy any kind of hard drives and just put them inside the mac pro we're not too sure show at this stage but something else that we've also been told is that Apple are going to find a way to make it that you can also put in slot cards to be upgradable too so this could basically means you could put in sound cards and also you might be able to put in some graphics cards as well on top of the standard M2 Ultra GPU that we have right now the starting price of this new Mac Pro will start in at 5999 US dollars and this will be the basic configuration Mac Pro. So this will be having an M2 Ultra and this will mean it will have a 60 core GPU and it will have 64 gigabytes of RAM inside it for this option. So that is a summary of the new Mac Pro. And like I said, if we get any more information of what the Mac Pro will be having inside it, I will be updating this report and letting you guys know in a future video. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to make sure to get those updates. However, for my thoughts and wishes, my wish is to do with the actual Mac Pro and basically something what I just talked about in the actual report here. And that's what makes the Mac Pro so great. And that is the ability to upgrade bits and pieces inside. Now with Apple Silicon being an all-in-one chip for CPU, GPU and RAM all together, I feel like that no changes of these three components are normally gonna be probably upgradable. So the Mac Pro might have to stick with this and you'll be stuck with that chipset forever. However, I really do hope that Apple do some sort of magic here that you can do some upgrades in some sort of shape or form So you can upgrade the storage and maybe put in expansion cards to maybe get a different sort of graphics card inside Sound card or video recording cards. You get the idea some sort of abilities like that because that would be really really awesome I really do hope that Apple do not take away from the Mac Pro This ability because it'd be so disappointing and essentially you may as well just get yourself say a Mac studio in instead but if they did do that to put that ability to upgrade the parts that would be awesome but those are my thoughts and i'd love to know if you feel the same about this and with that guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell until next time guys i will see you really soon bye bye